hearing today examining the Affordable Care Act premium increases. There's a deep concern, I think, in most Americans um, uh, about the cost of health care. Under the Affordable Care Act, health insurance premiums are soaring, soaring to say the least. President Obama promised multiple times that the Affordable Care Act would lower a family's health insurance premium by $2,500. We would love to hear from any Americans who think that their health care premiums went down $2,500. American families are still waiting for the cut in costs. Instead, the health care insurance premiums have skyrocketed under the Affordable Care Act. The New York Times this summer acknowledged the Affordable Care Act is causing increased premiums, warning that to its readers, quote, get ready for big increases, end quote. In Utah, health insurers in the individual market requested premium, in premium increases of nearly 30 percent on average. Most Americans are seeing even higher proposed premium increases. Conceding to the massive premium increase, the administration then re relies on tax subsidies. However, regardless of the subsidies, Americans are feeling the full brunt of just how costly the Affordable Care Act is. Second, under the Affordable Care Act, with soaring premiums, many Americans then must pay massive deductibles. Health care costs are one of the top concerns for families, and even people with insurance oftentimes can't afford to use it, especially individuals enrolled in high deductible health plans under the ACA. Again, this is no longer deniable. Another New York Times article reported, quote, many say high deductibles make their health law insurance all but useless, end quote, all but useless. Third, remember the promise for the increased competition? According, uh, according to the New York Times, again, in many parts of the country, quote, customers will be down to one insurer when they go to sign up, end quote. Hardly a choice. Insurers are seeing unprecedented losses on the exchange. Losses on the exchanges are reaching into the billions of dollars with the health, in health insurance industry. As a result, several large insurers are pulling out of the exchanges with the concerns of even more insurers pulling out this year unless premiums are going to be allowed to be increased significantly. According to an analysis done for the New York Times, 17 percent of Americans may only have one insurer to choose from, 17 percent. United Healthcare, Aetna are limiting their participation in the marketplace. And I know that uh, Chairman Meadows uh, is particularly concerned in, about that in, in North Carolina where they may face the prospect of having no insuring, insurer participating at all. This committee has been warning for almost a year about the collapse of the co-op program. The HHS has refused on numerous occasions to provide us with the information about the program. Then this week, another co-op failed. There are only six left, down from 23. And finally, of course, we cannot forget the ACA was sold on one of the biggest political lies of all time. Quote, if you like your plan, you can keep it. If you like your doctor, you can keep your doctor. End quote. That wasn't true ever. It was a political lie. Even the president had to apologize for that one. Today I want to hear from industry about why premiums continue to increase under the ACA and hear about their proposed solutions and how we can lower premiums for Americans. I want to hear from the state regulators to learn more about the challenges they are facing as premiums skyrocket and more insurers pull out of the health insurance exchanges. And finally, I want to hear from HHS on the implementation of the ACA. I want to know what can be done to control premium increases and to get younger, healthier individuals enrolled in the health insurance. To our HHS uh, Health and Human Services witness, I would like to point out the sad truth about the health care law. Every step of the way, this administration Everything the administration has told us that would be just fine, and it's not. It's not just fine. You can keep putting lipstick on it, but it doesn't look good, and it ain't good. So premiums will go down. Healthcare.gov will work. These are all things that they told us would be just great. Co-ops, they'd be there. They're failing, failing, and failing. It's only when faced with the undeniable evidence or public outcry do we finally hear that maybe the ACA isn't so quite so perfect. So I look forward to a good discussion today. We all care about health care insurance. We've got an important hearing next week that uh, Elijah Cummings and I have been working hard on to deal with 
some of the costs of, that Americans are going through, uh, EpiPen in particular is something that we will be addressing next week. But we're here to talk about the ACA and the problems that are associated. We need some candid talk and some solutions. So it's going to be a good hearing. And now I recognize uh, the ranking member, Mr. Cummings of Maryland.